So you've been using the law of attraction and maybe your results are somewhat hit and miss, or maybe you haven't had any success at all so far. Well, don't fear because in this video, I'm going to reveal two very important law of attraction hacks that will help you greatly increase your ability to manifest the things you want to attract into your life. Listen to the end for a third bonus hack that can really help you improve with the law of attraction. In this hack, you'll learn the very special brainwave that will accelerate your results with the law of attraction beyond those that most people experience. You probably know the basics of the law of attraction at this stage, and you're looking for something that reaches beyond those basic principles. But just before we get into the hacks, please go ahead and hit the like button if you intend to manifest your dreams this year. And then to help me out, please hit the subscribe button if you like my content. Okay, now let's explore those hacks. Hack number one. Ask the most important question. This is what I call the magical question because it has the effect of unlocking your brain and opening up your awareness into different areas that you may not have been focused on before. You may have heard of the RAS or the reticular activating system. Have you ever noticed that when you buy a new car, suddenly you see that car all over the place? Your reticular activating system has switched on and caused you to notice those other cars. They were always there, but before you became focused on them by buying your new car, you just didn't notice them. So what is this magical question and how does it make use of the reticular activating system? Well, before I tell you what the question is, I need to tell you when to ask it. That's right, it needs to be asked at just the right time of day, or in this case, I should say the right time of night. You need to ask this question as you are lying in your bed, about to drift off to sleep. You ask it silently several times. Asking the question causes your subconscious mind to come up with answers to the question. And the question is this. What is the very best thing that happened for me today that moved me closer to my manifestation goal? This magical question focuses you on the good that happened in your life during your day that got you closer to your goal of manifesting whatever you're trying to attract into your life. It makes use of your reticular activating system and causes you to recall little things that happened and perhaps look at them in a different, more positive way that's related to your manifesting goal. Maybe you met a new person at work. Maybe you didn't think much beyond the fact that you met someone new, but with this question in mind, you might start to wonder if perhaps this person could help you manifest your goal. Maybe they have some knowledge that could help you, or connections that could speed you toward your goal. Do you see how this can work? Asking the question opens your mind to the different possibilities that you would otherwise not have become aware of. So why do you need to ask this question as you're lying in bed, about to drift off to sleep? You may have at some point in the past watched a horror movie just before going to sleep and had nightmares about it. Has that happened to you? Well, that happened because your subconscious mind spends the time while you're asleep thinking further about and playing with the ideas that are on your mind right before you fall asleep. So it's a great idea to give it something useful and positive to think about before you drift off. This can often result in flashes of insight or brilliant ideas that can really help you in the process of manifesting your desires. Hack number two. Mind your language. Your life moves in the direction of your words. Have you heard this phrase? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. They're just words, right? No, they're not just words. Words are thoughts and ideas, and they have the power to spark all different kinds of emotions inside us. Words spoken to you by an influential figure in your life, like a parent or teacher can often have lifetime effects on you. Do you remember times when people said hurtful things to you, or personally put you down by calling you names? We all have memories like this. And sometimes, those memories can stop us in our tracks when it comes to doing new things in life. Here's an example. Say you once drew a picture when you were a child that you were really pleased with and proud of. And then you showed that picture to one of your parents, and their response was something like this, that's not a very good drawing. It doesn't look anything like it should. Those words have the power to devastate you at that young age. They may stop you from drawing altogether. They may stop you from entering art competitions. They may make you feel very upset when it comes to drawing things in school from then on. Words have tremendous power in our lives. The language people use when they speak to us can have a very powerful impact on us. That impact can be either positive or negative. As well as that, the language we use when we speak to ourselves can also have the same kind of lasting impact. 
Pay attention to the kind of thoughts you think about yourself and the kind of language you use. Does it make you feel better or worse? Does it make you a more positive person or a less positive person? Does it make you more likely or less likely to really strive for your goals? Mind your language. When you notice negative language coming up in your thinking about yourself and your abilities, stop it and turn it into something positive. The phrase, I can't do that, becomes, I can do anything I set my mind to. The phrase, I'm not smart enough, becomes, I have the ability to learn anything I desire in life. Those two hacks will really help you in your manifesting efforts with the law of attraction. But remember, you have to put them to use though in order for them to work. Now, let's talk about the third bonus hack that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. This involves a particular brainwave frequency that is very special when it comes to manifesting. You experience this brainwave frequency when you're in a very relaxed state, very much like when you're just about to drift off to sleep or just after you wake up in the morning. The power of this magical frequency is astonishing. It relaxes your body and mind. It also heightens your ability to solve problems and elevates your levels of creativity. It enhances your mind's receptivity to transformative ideas. It also hones your intuitive skills. It has these effects and more, but the one truly powerful effect it has in relation to the law of attraction is that it forms a powerful connection with your subconscious mind. It amazingly affords you an opportunity to program your subconscious mind. If you spend just 10 minutes per day in this brainwave state where you focus on what you're trying to attract into your life, your manifesting efforts will accelerate beyond belief. The trick is to enter into this brainwave state while you visualize what you want to manifest and focus on the feelings that you'll experience when you have your desired manifestation in your life. It's a simple process, but very few people actually take the time to do it every day, and that's why so many people fail to manifest their desires when using the law of attraction. So what is this magical brainwave state? If you guessed theta, you're right. The theta state is the most relaxed your mind can be while you're still awake. It's a wakeful dreamy state that can be hard to maintain. But you can enter it easily using brainwave entrainment. Check out some of my theta meditation videos to help you enter and maintain the theta state to make use of it in your law of attraction and manifestation journey. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.